Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. It is your lovely host, the queen, the king, the god, okay? The chef of the kitchen who gives you something juicy to eat and share with all your friends. This is the Truth Is series where I talk about some of the hard-hitting truths that most average people will not be discussing in their regular everyday lives in the matrix if you like what you hear today please like button go ahead and hit the subscribe notification KK bell share with your friends trolls you are always welcome here because you still make the algorithm do what it's expected to do okay today's subject is the pacification of America in countries like it. Okay? What do I mean by the pacification of America? Well, you watching right now are probably a person if you're in this country or countries like America that have adopted the same government um, strategy. The pacification of America. Okay? Really, honestly, the pacification of America didn't solely come from the government itself alone, right? Really, it came from people who are now on this thing called social media, okay? And everybody now has a voice to speak. Okay? And for some reason, a lot of things are expected to be more PC. A lot of things are expected to be nice or else. The people start attacking. Mainly the millennials, mainly the millennials in Generation Z. Okay? The older ones, they're not really changing. They may be muting themselves to a certain degree because they have to in certain aspects of their life. But but boomers and Generation X, they're not really changing. And why should they? On some fronts, it is good to actually grow. Well, that's that's about is that growth and pacification are two different things. Like this baby, this precious little thing you see in the photo. This is what grown adults, teenagers, young adults, basically, this is what they basically look like today. They all have a pacifier in their mouth. A lot of them. Okay. They want, they still want participation trophies. If they're fat, they want to be told, that it's, it's a good thing to be fat. They don't want to be called obese. They don't want to be told it's wrong. None of it. For your, for your health, none of it. Okay. They want to be basically stroked on the back. They want to be spoon fed. They want to be held by the hand. They want everybody to be nice. Let's all get along. When that has never been the case and never will be the case. This is the reason why you also have people like Karen's and Ken's walking around. Complaining about the smallest things, honey. Things that shouldn't cause any scenes or rivalries. When people are just trying to get their money and their checks. That's barely paying them anything to really pay for anything in life anyway. But hey, welcome to customer service. P 
people are regressing instead of progressing as they get older, particularly the millennials and Generation Z. The pacification is only getting worse. A lot of people, and that's including a lot of men, are becoming very soft, very, very anxiety driven, kind of frail, if you ask me. No backbone. And with this pacification, it is hurting a lot of people on the individual level and on the collective level. With people not truly knowing the, like the real history and the true nature of what we actually are animals and somehow people still debate that they still debate whether we're animals or not but we are just because we're not like exactly like the other animals don't mean we're not animals we are mammals animals we just have a little bit just a few things different that the animals, other animals, other animals don't have. We want to believe that we're special. We want to believe that we're little princesses, kings, queens. Yeah, we could barely wipe our own asses. And we roll around like robots all day, just in a zombie state. <sighs> A lot, of, a lot of people are at the bottom of the barrel trying to scrape for money, struggling. Life is just a struggle. You go to work, 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 work. They can still build a keep up because they've pacified you. They pacified you also from the financial education that one would need to truly take on this beast called capitalism. So many people are pacified in this country and countries like it be just because of that alone. Now we're in, the, in, this social, in these social cues and things. Or what's expected socially, in public and online. And if you go against it, guess what? They're coming after you, especially online. Definitely online. Because people are much braver when they're behind the keyboard and nobody can see them than when they're actually in person, in front of the person's face that a lot of times they would never even have the, the balls to stand up to stand up to whatever or speak speak their truth or speak out right so everybody a lot of people are millennials generation z and honey generation a or whatever they're called for the ones that's coming up now like this baby here in the picture if we don't turn the ship around soon, which I fear that we won't, things will just keep getting worse. You're going to have people that never truly get past the infancy stage of life. They may be playing adults because they're forced to play adults. They're forced to get the job. They're forced to work. They're forced for some of these mannerisms that they have to do. But do they are they actually mentally there? Are they actually adulting? Do they actually know what it is to truly adult? 
just the fact that we have all these programs and things from the government and we have to depend on the government for everything food health care there's so many things that we have to depend on the government for if they were to take these things away then there would be definitely be anarchy because when the system is set up the system of this country of america and countries like it that mirror it it's already set up for resource pacification. So the whole operation is a pacification game. But then they want to also promote that you need to be independent. Go after it. Become a billionaire. Get your own business. Money, 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 money. Independent. You don't need nobody else. Independence. When the truth is, narcissism when the truth is nothing or nobody is independent nothing or nobody is self-made we are all to a certain extent pacified all of us all of us Now, I want you to think about that. Sit with that right there and marinate on that, honey. Marinate on it. And think about, and think about your own life. As an American, as a British person, I don't know how it is in y'all countries. I'm specifically talking about the country that I live in and what I'm witnessing. This has been Peyton 3.0. The EDM and drum staff vocalist, Summit Supreme. Oh, and I forgot to say, we also pacify our damn selves, okay, too, to add to it. When there are things that are bugging us, people we don't like, troubles in our lives, a lot of times we'll smoke, we'll drink alcohol, but the thing is it never lasts, we'll smoke the weed, never lasts because it, those problems are still there that you did not deal with and solve. So you're gonna keep smoking weed after cigarette, after um, alcoholic 40 or whatever you drink, hard liquor over and over and over again until you have a, a problem medically that you don't have the insurance for. You don't have the money to pay. They're gonna, they're gonna charge you out the ass and not give a damn. I mean, come on, people with diabetes have to fight for their life but they can't pay for their damn insulin. And don't nobody care. And for the people that do care in most of these people's lives, they ain't got the money to help them. They can be able to keep their, their self above water. Come on, let's be honest. So anyway, this has been The Truth Is. My name is Peyton 3.0, okay? If you like what you heard here today, please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment. Thank you much. For those of you who are into EDM, these are for you. That's electronic dance music for those of you who are not savvy on the work, on the acronym. For those that qualify, even get three free unreleased songs from me. They will not be on SoundCloud. They will not be on Spotify. They won't be on any of these platforms. It's only for the people who are dedicated to becoming a true fan of the Zombatron Nation. The community. Okay. So you will get, in exchange for your email, you get three free unreleased songs from me. The dubstep and drum, the drum step and EDM vocalist Omni Supreme. I will see you on the next episode of The Truth Is. A goo goo gaga.